Welcome back everyone. You've seen my cookies before, you already know they are the best, but actually are they? Maybe I can do better. I have some leftover candies from Halloween, so I'm going to mix them together to make some junk food cookies. It's going to be incredible. Let's go. All right, first, we are going to take our beautiful butter from Emerald Grasslands. We're gonna put it into our mixer, make sure it's room temperature, and we're gonna add our brown sugar. So we're gonna do the step that's called creaming the sugar. So we're gonna put it with the whisk attachment, and we're gonna whisk it for about five minutes. We're gonna make it light and fluffy. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, I'm using a blowtorch. And I'm just gonna help the mixture to combine together. Okay, now that we have creamed our sugar and our butter, I switched the whisk to the paddle, which is a lot easier when you add the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna start by adding an egg and an egg yolk for richness and my vanilla. And we're gonna start by mixing these two together. So it's starting to come together, so I'm gonna slow it down. While this is mixing, I'm gonna take my flour and I'm gonna add my salt with the baking powder and the baking soda. And I'm just gonna give it a bit of a whiskey business so everything is incorporated. And I'm just gonna stop that. Can already tell the difference, it's beautiful. And I'm gonna add all the flour at once. And then we're gonna finish mixing on a low speed. So for that cookie, I'm using a dark chocolate. Uh, it's a chocolate I've made. It's about 70%, 74 to be exact, uh, cocoa. So it has more like a bittersweet uh, kind of taste. And it will also hold better when you cook it. At the end of the cuisson, you'll have beautiful melting chocolate. So the dough is starting to combine together. And I'm now just gonna add the rest of the chocolate. We don't wanna go too fast. We wanna keep the chocolate as large as possible. We don't want little chunks. We want the whole chocolate pebbles. And we're gonna mix it gently for about 30 seconds until it combines. Like so. And that is it. We have our mix. So I'm just gonna take it off. Wow. I could eat that just like this. Actually, you can too. So we're gonna take it off. I'm gonna put that mix into the fridge for about five to 10 minutes to firm up a little bit. All right, so I've let my dough chill for about 10 minutes, so now it's easy to work with. So we're actually going to measure 80 grams bowl. <laughs> 80 grams, then we're gonna take the bowl and we're gonna just form it quickly in our hands like so. And I'm gonna take one of the candy and kind of mush them together, like so. And I'll repeat the process with another one. So we're gonna look for 80 grams. Take the dough, roll it. Make sure we leave some space. And we're gonna take another bar same idea, we're just gonna stuff them and kind of like cover it a bit. And now repeat the process with the other candy. Okay, so I left the cookies in the fridge for about 10 minutes to firm up. Now I'm going to put them in my oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Yeah. 
All right, the alarm just went on. The cookies are ready. It smells so good in here. I am very excited. Look at this. You gotta believe it. I'm just gonna take them off the tray. So we're gonna cool them down for about 10 minutes and we're gonna try them out. Okay, they are ready. I let them cool down for five minutes. It smells so good. I have no word to describe what's going on. You have to trust me. Make them at home, you'll understand. If you like this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you allow me. Oh. Holy f this is good. Chocolate rich, caramel and have like a whole variety. Can't wait to try, sorry for the mess.